Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD and these are the things I wish I knew before. So tips and tricks for the beginners to the advanced. So there's a, something for everyone. Uh, so yeah, some things will be helpful at the beginning, some things will be at the end. So yeah, starts off, we're going to talk about the story progress. Sometimes you're stuck. So the game tells you always follow the green door. So that's what will be the next objective. But still, if you're lost, press the start and you can see uh, where, you, where you need to go. That will tell you the story as well as the side quest. So even still if you're stuck, maybe there's a recipe that was given to you. So go to the atelier and on uh, check the scything uh, cauldron. So maybe there's a recipe that you need to, to do or create so that you can progress. So these ones are the pump tart and the other one. These are for the side quests. But even sometimes for the main ones, you need that. Even for the ruins, if you are stuck in the ruins and you don't know where to go, always check open the map kill off all of these big monsters, open up all of the chests. Still, if you're still lost, if you still don't know what to do, press the uh, the touchpad again or go, go to the main menu, sorry. Press the start, go to the main menu, press the touchpad and you can see here, sometimes there are special recipes that you need to unlock. So find all of the fragments, get the recipe and you will be able to continue on. Next thing is check before you leave, because sometimes you get the equipment and you, you forget to equip them. You cannot change your main weapons or the core items outside. So you can only do them in the in the capital. So make sure that you have everything there correctly. As you can see, there's nothing. If I click on these items, I can find anything. So if I'm gonna go to the, uh, to the capital, I will be able to change the things. So make sure whenever you upgrade your items, you equip them before leaving. As you can see, oh, I have a new, better weapon. I didn't equip. So yeah, I'm just going to equip whatever I have, the best items, then I will head on and leave. Uh, there's another point that I want to uh, mention, the game is actually, it never mentions it, is the targeting. So whenever you go to a fight, if there are three monsters, all of your party members will target a different monster. As you can see, I'm pressing the L2 and R2 to change. As you can see, the target, if each one of them is targeting a different monster. So what you need to do is change the character move the d-pad left to right so that all of your characters are focusing on one single monster so this way you're going to be done with one of them move to the other one and so and so and instead of fighting all three you know so it's much much faster and easier because you will have less enemies to deal with and less attacks if you have you know like three two one and instead of having all three at the same time the other thing that i want to talk about is when we are selecting the items Usually we just press the X button to select each item individually, just one by one. So I'm just going to go to the gym reduction. So I want to reduce these to the gym. So I need to like press X, 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 X. No, if you just press the X and hold it, then if you move the D-pad left or right, you will be able to select a bunch of them. If I'm just going to go down while holding the X, I'm going to like select all of them. So if you want to deselect, so now this is just click on the, this one to deselect it and hold the X. Now if I'm going to go up, I'm going to deselect all of them. That's how it is. It's much easier than just pressing X over and over and over again. And the next point that I want to talk about is Romy. And if you go to the Airster uh, Central District, we have a lot of shops here. And by the way, we have more shops. We have the Dennis's Workshop and we have some shops in the Farming District and so and so. And all of these shops depend or we can be developed, sorry, they can be developed by giving items to Romy. As you can see here, I have these items. Maybe you don't have them because you did not develop the shop. So this is important because sometimes uh, you want a material but it's hard to find or you don't know where it is. You can actually go to these shops, get it as an, as an ingredient and you can uh, create the item that you want. So this, is, this can be very, very, very helpful. As you can see, I have all of these important materials. If, I, if I'm missing, uh, or let's say, a uh, gold tree on, I can just get it from there. So just go to draw me and whenever, so whenever you find a material, if you have like two of them, just give one to Romy just for the development sake so just give it to her as you can see by the way i'm just pressing x as you can see i'm increasing the stocks uh just increasing the amount of uh, like what is it called uh, equipment or sorry the the grades of these uh materials that the, that the shops will sell uh new products uh increase the uh, amount or the quality you know so if the material is rare as you can see i have acquired all of these items and if i'm, if I'm going to increase uh, the level of these uh, certain categories, I will have more and more. So I'm just going to go 
uh, and show you I got the fish now so if I'm just gonna go and give a new material uh, to them like this one the puni giant puni so I unlocked uh, the puni leather in Dennis's workshop so now if I want this uh, leather I can just go and buy it I don't have to like create it you know what I mean so this is why it's really 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 helpful to do this now I want to talk about healing region in Dubai this is something we don't take you know seriously but actually we should have we have to my favorite is the uh, Shara milk by the way uh, the if you raise the quality it will get better and better the reason that I'm telling you this is at the beginning we make these healing items and we just equip them but we never you know like synthesize more because we don't have to in a way because they don't expire if you just make one and you can just use it over and over again so my advice is as you progress or, or as you level up just create more create new ones and equip them so the healing abilities or the effectiveness and all of these things the quality they all increase as you level up so when you unlock a bunch of them and try them out all of them they have different you know uh, abilities as well as uh, the accessories so as you can see here I have uh, I have equipped these I'm gonna talk about the nectar in a while so the ashara milk is my favorite now the nectar uh, you can unlock the nectars is a recipe from the uh, from the skill tree the other thing is the accessories even the accessories make sure that you equip the accessories that give you like uh, HP region on, on turn these will be become really 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 helpful at the beginning of the game so now I'm gonna show you how the nectar will work the, the reviving so the, you, you can get the recipe from the skill tree so one of my characters is dead I have the CC uh, enough CC so I'm just gonna uh, use the nectar and, and revive uh, Persicia so this will become really 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 helpful in the battles sometimes they just you don't get the time and they die so yeah if the fight is too difficult you can use it this way so focus on healing regen and reviving next is the gathering tool same as before so when we get the gathering tool these are the what's it called the pillars of this game so we need to upgrade them all the time as you can see the difference is huge the one I have right now and the one I had before because I didn't change it to be honest even though I leveled up I got more better materials I was still with two stars or one stars and they are good but if you have these three stars and high quality materials you're gonna, you're gonna get rarer material or you're gonna get higher quality material so when you are synthesizing a new item with these uh, with items that you got from these new gathering tools it's gonna be much faster because of this quality will be bigger and so on and so so always you know as you progress as you level up so go create new ones like let's say every like 30 levels or 20 levels just go create a new one or just depending if you have you know like enough material so as you can see here the thing that I want to talk about like you know can see the, the nice cutting and the proper cutting we need to target those you know these those effects more more efficiently and as you can see the gathering up so these are the main effects that we want to have in our uh, you know in our gathering tools of course this is the normal one uh, we will we can get the the silent sickle which is much 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 better and I have already made a video on that so check it out this one the pets the pets first uh, when you get the pet in the game and we create the the material or the, the the tool for calling the pet this is a part of the story so don't worry about it so what I mean is when we get the pet we use it for, like you know like a couple of times then we just forget about it but actually it's really 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 important whenever you go to a new area the first thing that I want you to do is just take the pet you know stroll around find the materials because this pet will find different materials materials that you will no, not normally find in this area it's slightly faster as well for maneuvering or moving around so yeah it's a win-win situation always use the pet when you get to a new area so next I'm gonna be talking about is your best friend that you ignore when you are progress through the store you get this pony so my advice is whenever you're there whenever you have materials that you don't want to use just feed it to the pony and let it grow up because this pony will not only bring you different materials or rare materials that you might need to create some items at the same time it will bring a lot of decorative materials to your house it's very very easy to level up by the way there are three things that we need to focus on the mood the, the luster and the contrast so yeah depending on that the shape will change and you just need to like sleep for one day and it will be back bringing in new materials materials that you will not normally you know 
uh, have or, or get. Sometimes for just one single material, you need to like go all the way and search and search and search, you know, like find and, and, and fight new monsters or different monsters. And some, some of these items are really, really rare. There was, I was trying to like uh, get, a, get a bird egg, giant bird egg, and it took me a lot uh, to get that. And yeah, uh, this is also important for the trophy. And you can also change the decorations of the house. You can get a bunch of items from the pony. So this is why, just level them up, you know, as you, as you progress through the game and instead of waiting until the end, you can wait until the end, but I suggest to you, like, just do it in every once in a while, so maybe you'll get items that you that would be helpful. Since we're talking about the accessories, I'm going to talk about the decorations as well. Decorations is something we ignore, but it's really important because it will give you stats. It can change the game. It can change the game, it can change the stats of your, uh, of your party. You know, as you can see here, slightly increase the stats of all of your members. Change the weather increase the stats in the evening so these decorative items are important but we ignore them throughout the game you can get these from the shops if you have developed them as well as from some of the quests so these decorative items yeah quest and the shops there are only three in the game so yeah these are really important they can be really really helpful in the game next I want to talk about is the seeds or oh, we can unlock the main recipe for the seeds uh, from the uh, skill tree and from that we can actually unlock many many more we will have the water seed the fire seed mystic seeds golden seeds and so and so and so so each seed will give you different uh, materials and so yeah I suggest you to make you know high level high quality ones I don't talk about the quality I want to talk about the the gather quantity and the rare gatherer so always upgrade the rare gatherer and the quantity first then worry about the high growth and the other things yeah so rare gatherer the quantity up so we want to have rare uh, material and at the same time we want to get high quantity of many many items so yeah next you just go to the farming district like I, I can I'm just uh, I think maybe you have unlocked if you have unlocked uh, the the farm so if you've done the, uh, the side quest for uh, for her uh, you will unlock the farm and you will be able to plant these seeds so I'm just gonna come here and I will just plant some seeds so the high growth means if you have a, a really high growth uh, an L high growth then the seeds will like you know like they will just uh, if you just sleep once they will be ready to pick up if you don't have the high growth they will take a lot of time for, or just just sleep for a couple of days for them as you can see uh, this one didn't have a high growth uh, maybe M this one had an L so it grew fast as you can see, I'm getting a lot of material. This is the mystic. This is the mystic plant. So yeah, this is why the seeds are important. Just just plant, you know, the fire plant, the golden one, the mystic ones, and so and so. One more thing, when you are having these plants or whatever other, you know, uh, items, whenever you create one item and it's really, really good and it's really high quality, I don't suggest that. The first thing that I want to suggest is just, you know, just whatever items that you have you don't need, just reduce them to gems because we need these gems you'll unlock uh, the gym reduction uh, later in the game. So whenever you create an item which is really, really high level, just save it and go and duplicate that item. Because, you know, finding the materials to make it again is really, really, really hard. So just, yeah, just duplicate it. You know, and instead of like going and creating it more and more, just duplicate it. And by the way, we made a video uh, to get infinite gems. So that's going to be really, really helpful. And yeah, finally, I want to talk about what is best in this skill tree. Mainly at the beginning, I want you to focus on the right hand side, focus on the quantities because you want to create like high level materials and at the same time the SP. The more SP you get, the more you will be able to unlock. So focus on the right bottom side where you have the gathering tools and so on and so. The top, come for it later, the left side is mostly later in the game you will unlock the, the cores and, and so on and so. So just focus only at the right hand side. Uh, increase the level of your the staff, increase the level of your hand gathering, unlock the, the fishing rods, the bomb rod and all of, all of them because you want to get more materials. So yeah, guys, that's it for our tips and tricks. We are going to make some more uh, detailed guide for, uh, for the pony, for the decoration, so and so. So follow us, press that bell button. Thanks for the support guys if you have already sub uh, subscribed to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, check our website guys and as always, stay awesome.